This video will take you through setting up a website for your business on chiliwebsites.com. The first step is to register a free trial. To do this, we can either click on free trial or we can just initially select our template, which we'll do. So we click on template options up here in the left hand corner. This shows us the available templates. We can view all of them down, down the screen. You can see there's a few and in all the available colors are shown below each template. So for example, if we like this template here, mousing over the colors below shows us a little preview of what each color would look like with that template. And then the, you can also click on each of these to view a live site example, which is just a demonstration site in that color. So for example, if we wanted the pink one, we click on that and it will open a website. Bring it into screen here. And so it shows us with just some example content and logo what this site would look like with your, for your business. Your logo, of course, would replace this one and all the content you would have control over and the page names and, the, and such. So we'll close that. But we'll come back to this template and we'll pick, we'll say we're going to use this green one. And so the once you've picked a color and the template you want, you just click on the bottom row in the color you want to use and it takes you through to a page where we'll just fill in a few details which will set up your demonstration site, your free trial which you can turn into your actual website immediately. So we'll call this example business fill in a name an address postcode Scroll down the page, fill in a phone number. Now we don't have to put in a mobile, we can if we have one. I'll put in an email address, you need to do that. Info at chiliwebsite.com. Put in, we create a username and a password here, which will be what you log into with, to use to log into your administration system to manage your website. Um, you, you'll be able to change this in the future at any time, but you can make it up whatever you want. I'm just going to put in chili example, and I'll put the same password in for now. Make sure I type it right. Chili example, and you need to repeat that to make sure you have it right. Confirm password. Um, put in the industry. Let's we'll put in the example. Position owner of the example business years in business one to two years now the domain name now this isn't overly important at this point but if you do have a domain name you can type it in there or if you have one in mind but you haven't bought it yet um, go ahead and put it in there and, and we can organize that for you later or you can organize it yourself later whichever but um, it's not highly important but it helps to put it in so I'll just put in example business Dot com. You can see it shows a little image of the template we've selected there. Um, the direct adding the directory and adding the catalog to your website. You can mouse over these little question marks. They give you a bit more information, um, but we're not going to use these at the moment. Now the directory would be if you wanted to add um, listings of say you were doing an industry directory of for perhaps you're doing a wedding industry website where you'd list photographers and celebrants and venues you might set up a directory website. Um, if you were going to add a lot of products to your website or wanted to move to an e-commerce website, you could add the catalog to your website, which will set up a catalog, a product catalog um, with a shopping cart and such as well, if, if necessary. Um, we won't go into those right now. Now, you can choose to pay quarterly, monthly, or annually in advance. Uh, we'll just leave it quarterly for now. Um, if you indicate how you found the website through Google or other ways. Um, if you have a promotion code, you can enter it there. Any comments you want to add, and then you need to read the terms of service, the anti-spam policy, please, and confirm that you've read those by ticking in the boxes. Um, one other thing of note. Now, what this is going to do when we click set up my website, it's actually going to immediately set up a website for us at at a temporary web address of chiliwebsites.com slash your business name. So we've 
registered example business. So the website's going to be at chilliwebsites.com slash example business um, so that we can see it immediately. It will also send you immediately two emails. One will give you the details of, of logging back into your website if you after this session um, so you know how to do that and find your website. And the second email it will send you is an invoice for the first term of hosting, which is due in 10 days from today's date. You do not have to pay that. It's a free trial for those 10 days. In that time, if you decide you do want to keep the website, simply pay that invoice and your website can go live at any time. If you decide you don't want to use the website, you don't have to do anything. You can just ignore the invoice and the website will turn off in 10 days. So we'll go ahead and do that. Set up my website. Oh no, the company name's already used. Well, we'll call it example business two then and try it again. Set up my website. It says setting up website. It may take a few seconds and it's been set up. Now what it's done, it's actually immediately logged us into the administration system for our website. So you can say it, it gives you a lot of information here. These are tutorials that take you through each step of setting up your website and things you might need to do. We'll run through a bunch of those in, in a minute. Um, up here it has a temporary logo, which is the first thing we're going to do is replace that with your logo. And other than that, this is the menu system here of how you administer your website. Um, if you click on my profile, it, you can edit the details you've just entered, which was your name and your phone number and your email address and such. None of that information actually goes straight on your website. It's all just used for billing purposes and communicating with you from Chili websites. Um, the content manager is where you edit most of your website. If we click on that, you can see there's a lot more information in there that we can do. Uh, the marketing manager, we won't get into in this tutorial, but that's for sending out newsletters and such and creating a database of customers. Um, the user admin allows you to add additional people who can log into your administration system and work on your website. And FAQs, it was frequently asked questions and support, is a good a good resource for you. You can click in there and you can find all sorts of information on different topics in, to do with editing your website. So here's information, everything to do with setting up email once the site's going live. Here's questions on editing pages. These are basically this first page shows the five most popular questions in each of these categories. Um, you can also do a search so you can select your category. So for instance, if your question is on editing pages, you can select editing pages. And if you search, that brings up all the questions to do with editing pages. You can also search by keyword if you want to be more specific. So that's very valuable when you're working on your website. Um, now if we click on live website, we'll see a preview of the actual website. So what I'll do, I'm going to hold down control and click on that and that'll open it in a new tab in my browser. So now when I click on there, my website should appear. And there it is. So you can see it's the green template. It's got a bunch of dummy content in there, which we'll replace. It sets up some default pages, which we can change all of the names of these. We're not set on all those. And we can, of course, change the content and also add any number of pages we want to. 